change now. So, so, Jen, anyone who's any critic of Kristen Walker, meet the press, who's like, oh, she's not making news. She just made huge news this morning because Donald Trump's defense to January 6th has been one basic thing, which is I relied on the advice of my lawyers. I didn't have bad criminal intent. It's my lawyers who were telling me to do this. And she got him through masterful interviewing and playing to his ego to be like, oh, no, I did it all myself. Yeah. And if you're Jack Smith this morning, you're going, thank you. That's what I always thought. And yes, you hired these kind of cockamamie, crazy lawyers. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, this was you through and through. This demonstrates his you know, culpability right there and then. And I think makes this case uh, that Judge Chutkin has going to trial on March 4th a lot easier. So, Andrew, if you're Jack Smith's team, what are you doing? Is that footage going to be played in the courtroom, do you think? It could be. Um, just to add to um, Neil's excellent point, the other thing that uh, Kristen Walker uh, got the president to say was essentially a part of this scheme, a part of the obstruction, a part of the 241 civil rights scheme, which is the stop of the electoral count. If you'll remember, everyone thought there'd be a red mirage, that, that, that the night of the election, Trump would be ahead because the mail-in votes had not been counted. And sure enough, Trump had said, stop counting. Well, that's a crime. Um, he was saying at the time, and he just said it on air to NBC, stop counting the votes. Well, that's not allowed. Um, that yeah. is part of the scheme here. So there's sort of a twofer here. One, um, as Neil said, um, not relying on counsel, and two, saying that he wanted to stop the votes of American citizens. So before I let you go, I wanted to ask you, the other piece of news this week was about Hunter Biden's federal and.